Hello Airsoft friends and welcome to this video today where sadly it's a good video about information which is important and handy for you to know. So I know it sounds ironic that it's sadly because I wanted this video to be a different video than it than it is or was is it's yeah than it is bear with me but it's now a video about something else which is a good thing because I'm learning which hopefully means that you'll also learn too and then we can learn together and then hopefully you won't have the issues that I ran into in the field and this also could potentially clear up issues that you may be having with the same riff or a different riff so yeah keep keep watching and you'll learn th things and hopefully see that everything's not as bad as it seems. So originally this video I wanted it to be the accuracy slash shooting test for the Novrich SSX303 which I happen to have down here or up here. Here it is. Here is the Novrich rifle which I was looking to test and as many of you may know and probably do know this is a green gas rifle which means that the magazine that goes in there which looks like this there's a little thing on the bottom here and you need to take a gas canister like this and poke it in the bottom put gas in here and then boom you can then shoot things well preferably not things but you can shoot people which don't class as things because yeah shoot people with it in the nice way but the thing about gas is that it performs differently under different temperatures if it's hotter then gas expands because it's it there's more vibration in the molecules which makes them float further away which then makes gas more high pressured which will then give you higher fps when gas is cold the opposite happens the gas contracts and there's less friction and vibration so then you get less pressure and less powerful fps in your riff now I, i've been playing with my ssx 303 all of my playing has been indoors in here in this room and as you can tell because there's two 3d printers going on there pretty much all the time and then i've got my big old pc here doing things pretty much all the time and then i've also got a laptop here oh i do have a, usually have a laptop there which is also doing things during most of the time so it gets quite hot in this room so much so that i usually have my window open and i've got this little air cooly like conditioner unit thing here too plus two monitors which also get quite warm so it gets quite warm in here and what that means is the gas expands and then gives me more fps than it would normally do which is like annoying really it's quite bad and the reason why that's bad is because when i'm out in the field playing airsoft i don't have computers around me i don't have 3d printers around me i don't have you know monitors around me all creating heat it's cold outside there's no kind of atmosphere and that means that my riffs are going to perform differently outside than they are going to perform inside and the biggest thing of that i could show you is this clip here where I went outside and I was testing the SSX-303 and uh, it wasn't going as I planned it to. Consistently at 0.8 joules, which makes no sense at all. And after that, you can see I was quite down. I was uh, I was a little bit confused, a little bit concerned, but I was pretty much certain I knew what the issue was. And that was that the gas, it was cold and the gas wasn't the right gas and I needed to use red gas outside in that kind of temperature. And you know what? I decided to test that to see if that is the case. So I grabbed my chrono and I shot the SSX-303 in here. And instead of it being... 0.9 and 1 joule that kind of limit it was just under 1.9 joules which is exactly on the limits for what i can run in the uk at 450 fps which is pretty much the dmr limits although there's some sites that run 420 which is a bit of a pain but generally speaking it is perfect and i found that quite a frustration because yeah i've spoken about my ssx 303 quite a few times and i've been quite you know public about the fact that i haven't had any issues with it and i haven't it's been great i've been zeroing it in and it it shoots really nicely and uh, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to getting in the field and sneakily taking people out from a, from a distance away quite quite quietly and such but when I went outside to do my testing I was like oh no it's not shooting well what have I done what's happened have I done something wrong to it is it broken or is anything happening there but no it was the weather it was literally the temperature that had affected it so what that says to me is that there's a couple of options that I can do to make sure the rifle is performing as I want it to and well in the cold. The first one of that is whenever I do my chronoing and testing out, I should do this outside 
because if I do it inside here all the time where it's nice and warm and hot and stuff, I'm not going to get the same performance as I will do when I'm in the wilderness, in the wild chronoing stuff and testing it, and that's going to be a little bit of a pain. What it's also said to me is that I need to get different strengths of gas sat around the place so I can use them. In summer when it's going to be really hot outside, green gas is probably going to be perfectly fine, and on my, uh, my TM Mark 23, which I use, at some points I even had to go down to white gas, which is like the, the weakest of them all to make sure that it was site legal for my, uh, like the, the, the limits there for the 350 FPS, which is absolutely mad. I used to often have a selection of gases, like some green, some red, some blacks, but then, you know, during the summer where I found that I didn't need to use the red or the blacks at all, I was a little bit like, oh, I don't really care about these. So I just kind of gave them away and now I wish that I didn't do that because I need them now because I need to test them to see which gas works perfectly in the rifle outside when it's nice and cold. Seriously, like, I mean, look at the shooting test that I did outside and then the shooting test that I did indoors the performance of the BB is just absolutely ridiculous I mean there's essentially one dual difference of power different between the two of them so it makes sense that there's that much difference between the two but at the same time literally the only difference I've got is that I'm outside in one and I'm indoors in the other one and you know it's just, it's just mad. It's just mad. I know that seasoned players are probably going to look at this video and be like, well, of course you muppet. The temperature is much different, but it was a much bigger impact than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be that much different, you know, taking it outside than doing it, doing it inside. But you know what? It turned out to be a huge difference. So if you're new to Airsoft or if uh, you've got an SSX 303 and you're not super happy with the performance of it so far, it's probably not the rifle's fault. It's probably more just the fact that it's cold outside and the gas that you're using probably isn't strong enough in order to give you the FPS to overcome the cold temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some red gas, I'm going to buy some black gas, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to test this again outside when all of those gases have arrived, and then hopefully that will be everything that I need to do in order to make this work well, shoot nicely, and, uh, and usable out in the field. Because at one duel, even though it'll be nice to run it like that, and you know, I can shoot people at any range possible, I do intend to use this as a sniper. I want to be a sneaky sniper with it because it's quiet as well. But I can't really do that at the moment because the gas I have is not right. I do have some nozzles coming on the way as well, so I can put those nozzles in, which will help me up the power. And I feel like that's something which is going to be really good to do. Part of me, though, is a little bit adverse to that because I know at the minute in here in temperature wise on green gas, this is absolutely perfect. And with summer approaching, I'm a little bit like, I don't really want to tech it because it may change things. But at the same time, I know that the nozzles in the rift at the minute are the perfect setup for like uh, for a hotter temperature system to get perfectly on the money for green gas. So I will take these nozzles out. I'm going to mark them with maybe like, I don't know, some green paint or something like that. So I know that these are perfect and I'll write on there, you know, average temperature of what it is where it works well. Or just write an S on it. And then I know that's for summer. And, uh, and then the other nozzles I can test and maybe have a winter nozzle set, which I can use outside and, and do that. And with that being said, thank you all very much for watching this video. Also a shout out to Novrich because they did supply me with this SSX 303. So thank you guys very much. Like I said in before in, in other videos, even though they do send me these things to try out, I'm not going to like sugarcoat my feedback. I'm going to be completely honest because I want these things to be as best for you as possible. And if I don't, you know, give you genuine feedback or give them genuine feedback. They can't make any changes or improve things. So yeah, anything that does pop up on this rifle, I will let you know about and I'll, uh, yeah, tell you if I've experienced it. And then hopefully, if, uh, if there is any naffy stuff, then we can all work together to make it better and improve it. And in the same regard, if you've had any issues with your SSX-303 and would like me to keep an eye out on them, or even maybe, I, I don't know, pass on the feedback, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Huge shout out to all my wonderful patrons out there. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. You're wonderful people. And uh, yeah, like I wouldn't be doing this or I couldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. So thank you all very much. From the bottom of my heart, you are amazing. And with that being said, huge thank you again to everyone for watching. Remember to call your hits, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>